Stop saying that virgin ass shit. Nobody finds that shit funny. It's fucking weird. It's some virgin shit. And you bring that energy to me. I'm cool, nigga. You're a virgin. Don't say it again. I swear to God if you say it again. <laughs> Nigga, this is what I'm talking about, bro. This is that, this is that classic, that classic Eminem that we've been waiting for. Oh no, I kind of look at bitches like dogs. Like, oh, okay, you have to do right. no, 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 no. Y'all, let's know. Comments. Reality. Sometimes. It's <laughs> oh wow, 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 wow. That's that's what it said. <laughs> Yo guys, what's let's the go. word? Bro, just let me do the intro, bro. bro. I can say what's the word. Bro. Yo guys, what's going on with y'all, man? And y'all already know what time it is. I don't like to waste no time. You know we got this video as soon as we promised it. Y'all know that we, we came through with the deadlines, exactly as we said. Every time. But if y'all haven't, before we even start, y'all gotta go see us react to all the other Eminem. Cause we've been listening to this Eminem and y'all been suggesting so much stuff. But the one album I get the most, you know what it is? The Eminem show? No, we did that one. No, we didn't. But you were supposed to say, I don't know what it is. And then I was gonna say, the Eminem show. But oh. now that you've already fucking, whatever. We're watching the Eminem show. We listen to a lot of Eminem, y'all. Uh, we're gonna get right into it because I don't like to waste time. The first, uh, the first song on the album is called "Curtains Up." America. White America. Trying, but I, I I cannot fuck with this. He's not like going slow as shit. At least for him. Well, I'm trying you to like hear. the flow. Yeah, he's trying to make a point. He's talking about the um the way the government. No, I I, I know I hear I hear that he's spinning bars and he's spinning a lot of like truths about or you know just a lot just a lot of shit. But it's just like the flow. I can't fuck with. America, Trying to be on some rock shit, low key. Do nah, not yeah, seem this, like that. Nah, this hook is terrible. Yeah, hold on, he said, "Look at these eyes, baby blue, baby just like yourself. If they were brown, shady loose, shady shits on the shelf, sits on the shelf. But shady's cute, shady new, shady's dimples would help. So pretty much what he's saying is, look at. Can my, I read that one for myself? Why? Because you just stuttered throughout the whole thing. No, I didn't Slurred fucking stutter. No, I didn't stutter. Dude. I caught like every third You're word. You're just fucking dumb. You're caught, dumb. Like, every you third stutter word more you than me. But yeah, I didn't mean stutter. I meant slurred. Okay, you slurred. well, you stutter, nigga. Well, let me, like, can I see the... Or, because he has blue eyes, white skin, he feels like, you know, he did what he did. But if he had brown eyes and maybe black skin, he feels like he wouldn't get too far. But he is, he's talked about this in past times. Y'all can go check it out. Like I said, he been talked about this theme of... Uh, him being white helping him in a rap game. If, let's do half the math. If I was black, I would have sold half of that. I keep. Uh, I just read and understand what he's saying. I don't agree with his statement. I feel like in his field, he was like he actually kind of hold. I feel like he just. I feel like he kind of was, um, you know, looked down upon a lot because of. It. His ethnicity. Well, he might be being in his specific. In his, I feel like I feel like what he's saying doesn't doesn't apply to his specific field. I feel like he actually, with his flow, would have done better as a black guy. So I mean, I, I that could be up. That could be up for a lot of debate. But I just, you know, what I mean. Well, there's two things. First, he could be being sarcastic, but I mean, there is an argument that well, even he, though it's harder to get, you know, maybe that initial steam that once you are a good white rapper. It is a benefit because now you stand out more than every other rapper just because you have something, of, you know, right different. And he probably did get a lot of streams from a lot of white niggas who are just looking at the nigga like, damn, he's white and he can spit. Like, even, 
even they say that a lot of there are a lot of black rappers who are less famous. Maybe maybe that are just more talented. Maybe but just, because they're black, they don't stand out as much. Maybe just like yeah, mess them up at first. Because if you think about it, if you see a white dude hooping on the court, even if he's pretty like the third best guy on the court, it's still it'll feel like he's the best. Because he's the only white guy yeah. and he's hooping. Yeah, that's true. But nah, if maybe, you're the third best black guy, you're just the third maybe best. It was, maybe it's beneficial now, but definitely at the start of his career, it was way harder being white. What'd you think of that song, man? Um, I'm not going to lie. I don't want to give it a point. I, I understand he had a, a, a good message with it. You know what I'm saying? Or like, I don't say good message. All right, I understand he had a message with it. He was, trying to, he was trying to make a statement with that song. He was trying to say some real shit. But honestly, the hook was ass. The vert, the the flow, I, I I wasn't like that's not any kind of Eminem. We've like you know what I'm saying you can't compare that to any other Eminem song we've heard so far. Like that shit was some different shit, and I just was not fired with it. Yeah, me neither. To be honest, the yeah. hook was ass. I I get the message, but I yeah I get the at message. At the end of the day, it's the music, buddy. Marshall sounds like an SOS. Holy it's whack, whack lyrics, Andre. Let's go. Marshall. You already, know who's on, you already know who's on the beat. That nigga, Dr. Dre. Yeah, yeah. That's what I'm saying. Marshall! Some more Marshall Mathers shit. Come on. <laughs> nigga, this is what I'm talking about, bro. This is that, this is that classic... That classic Eminem that we've been waiting for. He said, he said, with his own private plane, his own private pilot, set to blow college dorms off the hinges, oranges, peaches, pears, plums, syringes. Yeah. He's just rhyming. That's what I fuck with about Eminem is the is the fact that he don't take himself too he he can he he doesn't take himself too seriously a lot of the time. You know what I mean? Yeah, he, he can just say some bullshit sometimes. Yeah, he's just shut the shit down on these clowns and I get a witness. Damn, niggas said the most hated on out of all the niggas that say they get hated on in their own songs or some shit. And exaggerated sure, all niggas. so much. They make it up. There's no such thing like a female with good looks who cooks and Better not said no niggas. Nigga, did you hear what he fucking said instead of trying to yeah. make a fucking bid, dumbass? Yeah, I did. Okay, well, actually, okay, so what'd he say? It wasn't niggas. So he said, yeah, I'm the most hated part. on out of all the people that say they get hated on, even though... Niggas we talk about they get hate on, they really don't get hate like that. He's saying he's the one who's actually hated on. They shit don't exist like a good bitch. The show must go on, so I'd like to welcome y'all to Marshall and Andre's party. Must be a circus in town, it's shot the shit down on these clowns. Can I get a witness? Hey. Okay, so hold on. Him and Dr. Dre are about to go back and forth this verse. Oh, wait, Dr. Dre? Yeah, I told you he was on the beat. On the you. beat? Yes. I've never heard him on a verse. Yes, they've gone back and forth in actually the old reaction. What? What? When? What song? Let's Nigga, know in watch the comments. The, why don't you watch the channel? Let's know in the comments. Nigga, that's niggas. That do you hear that? B T and M T. Actually, actually, no. Nah, that's what I want to talk about. What do you say about that? Believe me, B T and M T V are gonna grieve when we leave. Dog for Sheezy. He's saying that he runs the entire rap game, and without him, B T and M T V gonna be run out of business. No, oh, here's my. Oh, thing. and the song's called Business. Okay, so here's my thing. Oh, that's crazy. But uh, he's actually right. Um, it doesn't seem like it, but he really does hold a very, yeah. a, a very important. Role yeah. in the rap industry, in the rap game right now, because it doesn't he's, seem like that. it doesn't. It doesn't seem. It doesn't really seem like because you think, oh yeah, he's on. Yeah, yeah, he, yeah, he is. He like he's the white rapper. People don't like to say that he's the white rapper. Yeah, we got Jack Harlow now. You, you got a little Dicky in there. You got you also got, these niggas in the little Pete, at the time. You got yeah, you got other niggas, but you got to think about when he came out, when he started, how long he's been cooking for. That nigga is truly a goat, and he's still the white rapper. Like if you think, and of he's the white still rapper, the white rapper. You yeah, to this day. To this day, even even with all these other new young niggas coming out, he's still the white rapper. Like that's a that's a that's a that's a heavy title because you think about it. If we didn't have Eminem, we wouldn't have that a white rapper. Then the white the white white people would just be way. You know what I'm saying? They would have way more. They would have way less. 
They would have way less of a connection to the to the music, to the culture. What you think of that? Nah, that was a really good song. That's what I was expecting to hear coming on to the Eminem show, y'all most recommended album to date. But nah, clearly a point. Clearly a point. Bars on point, messages on point. And that flow that he be doing, like flow. he really understands flow in a way that a lot of people couldn't understand at the time and still can't understand. God damn, Amina! Anyways. Anyways, um, but not no on God though, and that bitch in the back who was singing the Marshall shit. I'm not even gonna try to replicate that, but she was clicking. Next song is Cleaning Out My Closet. Now if you don't know this song, I don't know what to tell you, bro. God, that's a God. Damn. I have no snare in my headphones. Fucking with this beat. There you go. Melody. You never heard this song? Have you? Yes, this is that shit. What's it called? Cleaning out my closet. Have you ever been hated or discriminated against? I have. I've been protested and demonstrated against. Sick is the mind of the motherfucking kid that's behind. Pause. I, I know he may be gassing, but we're. Y'all can let us know. Were niggas really protesting Eminem? Because he be speaking like that a lot. Like, niggas was really, like, hating on him to the point of, yeah. like, how action being taken in the community. Yes, FCC. When he says the FCC won't let me be. Nigga, that's what he's talking What's about. What's the FCC? The FCC is the nigga the federal. They control like TV. What can be played on TV? And what can oh, be, they be on his ass. Yeah, what can be played on the internet and shit like that. Like, that's like a. That, a that's fe government. That's federal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See anything federal? Anything that got the F in front of it? Just but this is between us. Okay. Okay. No, 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 no. This is between us and seven. That's the. That's what they, that's what they want you to see. Them the, you know I mean, them the niggas, them niggas you think is is telling them and them what to do. Who's really telling them and them what to do? <laughs> Nigga, me, <laughs> me. Sorry, Mama, I never meant to hurt you. Mm. I never meant to make you cry, but tonight. I'm cleaning up my closet. You ever made your mama cry? Is that what you about to say? <laughs> nah, I just have to say that. You've been, you ever been hit with the, the dilemma like, yo, you want to do something so bad, or you just want to be doing some shit so bad, but you know it's going to make your mom so mad. Yeah, I usually um, take the chance of I'm going to do it anyway, and just because, like, at the end of the day, it's my life. Now, unless That's it affects her, unless it affects her, affects her. Like, my mom just doesn't want me to be out late at night because it worries her. Like, I'm going to still go out because, like, I'm not going to die. And, like, I got to get I'm this. Say, I, I got to get to this pussy. Also, I got to live my fucking life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't be worried about your life. But, like, if it actually hinders her, like, waste her money or some shit, then I feel bad. Then I'm going to go. Yeah, yeah, then it's like, like that. But if you're just like, oh, you you can't sleep at night, like, yo, I'm not going to lie. I, I, how am I gonna be worried about your life before mine? Exactly. I love you, but come on. Before I ever had a multi platinum selling CD, out my fucking father must have had his panties up in the bunch because he split. Y'all, let's know. Comments! So he's saying he made some mistakes like his dad, but unlike his dad, he ain't run away. He stayed. So if Haley's fucked up, at least he stayed. Yeah. Nah, this is a video shit, but you're like, I've seen like, almost every famous YouTuber or streamer with at least one bad bitch, at least talking to a bad bitch. Except for my boy, Berlisi. He said, I never meant to hurt you, but now I'm cleaning up my closet. Oh, that he's means just... he's leaving. Oh. Mm. Gotta let your baby burly in that show. That's what he means. What do y'all think he means? I kind of thought he meant like he's about to say a lot of shit. Like he's letting the skeletons out of his closet. Like he's about to say a lot of uh, shit. That would make your mom upset. Maybe it's a double meaning. I mean, I don't know. Who's right? Y'all let us know. Witnessing, nigga, witnessing your mama popping prescription pills in the kitchen. Bitching that someone thinks always going missing through her purse and shit's missing, going through public housing systems. This nigga is telling you he grew up through through some shit. Yeah. His mom was a junkie. His dad was a was a deadbeat. His daughter's a failure. His wife is ugly. This is what he's telling you. His daughter's a failure. Yeah, she's ugly. 
All right, what'd you think of that song? To me, that song's a classic, bro. There's no way that shit don't get a point, bro. Now, I've never heard that before. This nigga seems to know that joint. Of course. Oh, I'm going to give it a point. Me. I'm going to give it a point for sure because... That nigga really told us his story and gave us a hit. And that beat was on some... Dun, 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 dun. But I'm saying, once again, he, he hits the trifecta. Message, mm-hmm. vocals, mm-hmm. and production. The beat. Dr. Dre. Know, every Dr. time. He made the beat on every song. He, he Wasn't he on this one? No. Oh, he won that last one. Yeah. No, Dr. Dre made the beat. Come on. Anyways. He made the beat for everything. He that's made obviously a point. Next song is Square Dance. I'm hoping there's some shit we could get jiggy to, nigga. It feels so good to be Oh wait. Okay. What? I actually wanna. Um, what? I feel like he just hit us with like some 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 some, some, some sneak shit right there. What do you mean? He said. He said. He said. He said. What the fuck did you just do? Took a piece of white off your. Hair. Okay, well, I appreciate that. These people I had to leave in limbo. All these people I had to leave in limbo, I'm back now. I've come to release this info. I'll be brief. And let me just keep shit simple. Can a bitch do what... Can a bitch don't want no beef with Slim? No. And follow me as I put these crayons to chaos from seance to seance. I feel like it was one of the words we switched before. What the fuck were you doing, you gay ass nigga? Oh, wow, 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 wow. That's that's what it said. <laughs> hey, no, our, our comments. Let me know what he actually meant by crayons to chaos. I that that he I went from crayons, meaning he was a kid, to chaos, meaning in his adult life now it's chaos. Mm, I feel like there's a deeper meaning. No, there's no deeper meaning. There's a deeper meaning, okay. I know it's been a while since we did the reactions, but do you not hear when a song is danceable? <laughs> Oh, he that dosey do now. Wait, you don't hear what he's saying about, about You don't hear what he's saying about Bush administration. Listen. Ooh, that nigga said. Bush to push this administration and to push these kids to do something that's actually gonna change something because they know that the senators is fucking lying. This nigga came through like the hero, Don't nigga. Vote, yo. This look like the job for me. You heard it. Y'all go watch the video. Y'all heard it. This look like a job for me, nigga. <laughs> Man, how you Nigga, fuck the though? fee. Fuck the fee. I can get you jump for free. Come on, bro. Don't mess with him. Don't Why would you want to learn how to square dance, nigga? Don't mess with him. Why do you what, what is that shit? It's like that. It's that shit, right? No. No, that is fucking that shit? electric shuffle. No, this is. Square dance. Da- no, square dance is shit. No, this? I know how to square dance. This? Nigga, move. You got to go mm-hmm. right, right, back, back. Right, right, right. Yeah, you just hit like three lefts and <laughs> rights. Bro, what are you talking about, nigga? You don't never square dance. Right, right, back, right. Have you square dance? Right. All right, what'd you think of that song, man? Um, um, I like the vibe of it. I don't think there was a real message in there. I don't think he was trying to get across a real message. Maybe a few of them. Like, like maybe he, he had a few bars where he was trying to say some shit. But honestly... I felt like that was a more vibey song, and I fucked with that vibe. Yeah, so I'm, I'm gonna not gonna lie. Point. We cannot pretend like that song was not hard. Like that nigga wasn't sliding. He's bro. definitely slid. All right, next song, The Kiss. I'm going to fucking jail because I'm gonna kill this bitch. Always got a bad feeling, man. That's your car right there. Uh, Are you going on a drill with Eminem to kill a bitch? No. In the middle of Detroit. Haiki, what could a bitch ever do to make you really want to kill her? I can name about 18 things off the top of my head. You know how Google says it's like 100 million results in 1.1 seconds? That's exactly what came to my head. Oh, no. I kind of look at bitches like dogs. Like, oh, Okay. You have to do... right. no, 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 no. Oh, wait, because now I'm explaining myself. Because that's crazy clips. I'm going to explain myself. 
Like I just don't think it's in the like sense to help. of where you know when your dog like shits on a carpet and you're like, God damn it! I, t- I told you no better. But you're not gonna like get. It's like it's a, okay. Maybe you're starting to think. Okay, I gotta get rid of her. Okay, maybe she shit. Like maybe that dog shit on like a fucking like a tough ass fit. Like you had to lay down on your bed. It's like, okay. You're done. You're you're gone. And that that's the equivalent of cheating. But I'm saying it's kind of like that. Like when a bitch does some bad. When a bitch does some like annoying shit. It's like it's more on some all oh, like oh, what are you doing? When versus when your nigga does some shit. It's like bro, I I really I really hit you in your I really stiff you in your shit right now, bro. You playing with me? You know what I'm saying? I can't I can't. I can't just I can't be the same kind of mad at, at a nigga as I can as a bitch. I could never see myself to the point where I have to murder this bitch. I have the Glock. I got my homie here. We're gonna hit, we're going to hit drill. I'm going to get away with murdering this bitch. Like what would what would you have to do for you to actually want to kill this bitch? Uh, talk to me when I'm playing 2K. Um, not buy me 2K. Um, okay. Get in front of the screen while I'm playing All right. 2K. All right. um, let's let's get back. Bring that for. Just shut up. She just kiss him. Okay, so I think he pretended that he was gonna do a drill on the on the girl and then said I wasn't. And then now he sees that she's actually cheating. And now he's about to crash out. Let's go slow, let's move, let's go. I'm a soldier. She's sagging off! What the fuck did you just say, bro? What the fuck did you say? She's sagging off! Nigga, what the fuck does that mean, bro? She's sagging I want y'all niggas to go on the Shinsage co- co- tell, <laughs> tell this nigga he's not funny. He's dumb. He's fucking stupid. Nigga, tell to this nigga top he's not of your, funny. To the top of their lungs. No, the chat, the no, comments are screaming. No, me. nobody understands. Shinsage Stop saying that virgin ass shit. Nobody finds that shit funny. It's fucking weird. It's some virgin shit. And you bring that energy to me. I'm cool, nigga. You're a virgin. Don't say it again. I swear to God, if you say it again. Yo, free applications, nigga. If you want to have a YouTube channel, nigga, with a, 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 a nigga that's actually going to do some shit, instead of this version, nigga. Look at him, he's still laughing. You fucking find that funny, don't you? <laughs> He said, "When you meet, it's it, people want to see if you're for real, niggas. Don't want to see no fake ass shit, nigga. So it's a part of his obligation to be on the crazy shit that he's that he says he's on. Oh yeah, that's a fact. Oh my god, nigga, do you hear what he's saying, nigga? If you see, it, you can feel it, nigga. If you see it." You can feel it in in the, in a person when he's really being for real, and this nigga is t- talking about shit that niggas don't mm. want to talk about. They niggas who faking shit because he knows he sees no, he a right lot of though. niggas in the game faking. You right though, because yeah, it, be, it do be a lot, it do be a lot of niggas even that that talk about that shit, and, and you can tell. I swear they on that shit. Yeah, you can even obviously tell, but niggas just don't press nowadays. I feel yeah. like ever since Lil Tech, and niggas really just don't press. Exactly, like you like you see a nigga like me, you know I'm gangster. Like, you know I'll really fuck a fucking nigga up. You know what I mean? Like, you yeah, know I'll really beat a nigga at You know what I mean? Like, like and, and then I it's like, and it's like you, you, look at it, you look at a nigga really like... Don't. Truly. Like a nigga yeah. like you, for example. Okay, here we go. Right? And it's good that you don't portray that because we know that you're not like that. You know what I mean? So it's like, you need real niggas like me, King Von, Ted Bundy, Killers, niggas who get busy, Aaron Hernandez, shout out my brother for you. You need niggas like us, YW Do you just compare yourself to King Von? I was about to say, but... Damn! Yo, he's really on some, like, some... I don't want to, you know, uh, you know, get YouTube on my ass, but some shit this... I like this, some shit this on. Really <laughs> nah, that shit, ass, nigga. bro. It's like, this is like the magnum... Like, yo, you hear how, like, the songs and the messages are, like... Like, there's one thing to have a message. Great message, right? But the song ties. It's like, all right, I might add yeah. to the playlist because the message is good. And the song is real good, but you talk about some bullshit, which is cool, too. It's probably better than a song with just message, but it's good, too. But then you get that rare magnum opus when you get a great meaning mm. and a great message and a great sound. You can be in the dictionary. This nigga with this song. Said like, a lot of times, I'm just playing the song because it, cause it sounds good. Because it tunes. Some Kodak because it, cause it sounds nice. Stazzy shit, Stazzy shit, that sound nice.
But Eminem brings a very rare, like, like many niggas don't do this. Niggas like, I said niggas like Young Boy, it's like Rod Wave, hit that often. Niggas like King Von often try to get a point, you know, with his music. This nigga Eminem, it's consistently. Mercy on anymore, but he's and put a curse on the in the face of hey, what'd you think of that song right there? Point. Yo, guys, 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 you gotta listen. We're YouTubers. You know what I mean? It doesn't look like it. Maybe not, man. It may not look like it a lot of times, but we're YouTubers. You know what I'm saying? We're making videos. We're Reco making money. recording the videos, then we're editing the videos. And we need to drop the videos for y'all to watch in a reasonable, digestible format. Thank you for describing YouTube. So we, we just can't catch everything he's saying, but trust y'all, we're hearing it. If y'all get mad at maybe we missed a bar, we missed a verse, we missed a certain phrase or 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 enunciation or saying or whatever, just know. We, we heard, heard it. We just don't give a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> that ass best song so far. Best song so far. Hey, oh Track it. seven, best song Dang. so far. I'ma give it best song the because of the 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 transition to the transition from kiss transition to kiss is really hit. And next song Say goodbye. To Hollywood. I thought that I was good, big enough to stick it out with Kim, but I wasn't. You wanna know why? Cause none of us as men should be sticking out with these treasures, bro. I want to tell y'all something, man. Don't fucking interrupt me when I say this. Whoa, whoa, bro. bro. I I was because I know you was about to. No, I wasn't actually. I was inspired to start no sentence. Anyways, don't let these hard on thoughts. I understand, bro. As guys, the fact of the matter is, we gotta get some pussy. It's only healthy. It's only healthy to get some pussy. And a lot of these times, these girls they come into the equation, and we wanted to get that pussy so bad. Sometimes we let them do stuff that we wouldn't usually let big people do to us. You know, we let them get stuff of ours. We buy them stuff. You know, we do shit like this. I'm letting y'all know right now that bitch is thought and she would leave you for me in a second. Really think about that. Whoever your girlfriend is, if I DM'd her today, she would leave you for me. So how does that make you feel, bro? And I'm telling y'all, y'all got to start being hard on these thoughts. How do we always thoughts. get to this? How do you we can't always, be afraid how do you always to, do this? You can't be afraid to walk away. I'm sorry, I want our subscribers to get pussy. I, I know that's not a big thing for you, but for me, that matters. I want our subscribers to be digging that's, eight inches deep while watching our that's channel. That's not why. That's not. That's not. If you're fucking a bitch right now, subscribe. That's not why I made that face. It's because of the cap. You consistently spew to these niggas on a video to video basis. See the shit I felt, knowing that well, she wasn't gonna be there when I fell to catch me. The minute she was here, she mm. just fell. Bro, mm. Oh my gosh, bro. What are we talking about? Mm. Nobody could see the shit I felt knowing damn well that she wasn't going to beat her when I fell to catch me, bro. Who's going to beat her to catch me? So here's what happened. He's describing a story where he caught a, a dumb nigga piping out his bitch. And then he had the strap. And he was going to go, he was gonna go crash out. And he didn't crash out because he wasn't going to lose no freedom over no bitch. Especially one that looks as ugly as Kim. Alright, man. What you think about that one, bro? Uh, it was great. I thought that he tapped into a role where he was talking about the hardships of Hollywood. It's not easy. Even though you think just because you're fucking rich, it's fucking easy. It's not easy. And he was I talking about his relationship with Kim and how he was raising his daughter. He gave us a lot of insight into that. I'm not going to lie. I, I, I fucked with the story. Because he's he definitely on some story shit with this one. Like I said, the beat. The flow was hidden, man. That's that's a point in my book any day. Next song, Drips, featuring Obi Trice. Whoop! I'm gonna tell you right now, I'll be very surprised if I give this song a point. For these games and these stupid tricks, or these bitches on my dick. That's how dudes be getting sick. That's how be dicks be getting drips. Now, I really hope and that's not the drip he's talking about. The theme talking. of this song seems to be STDs. Matter of fact, I just got tested, and the sponsor of today's video is Atlanta Testing. Not STD testing, Atlanta. Because y'all niggas specifically are dirty as motherfucker. Now, I hope I'm clean. If I 
My test results will be dropped on this channel, my nigga. I don't give a fuck. Once I get my test results, whatever video we're recording, I will say and announce my test results, and I will show proof. If y'all niggas are dirty, unsubscribe. I swear to God. I'm so serious. And I'm back in the state one and last night's tongue. Pussy residue was on my penis. The knees from the cleaners. Um, I'm just gonna do a fat skip in the middle. And this bitch, well, she gets kicked in the stomach and she's pregnant and she's egging me on, begging me to throw her off the steps of this porch. My only weapon is force. Or wasn't she hugging me for four minutes to go with the door? Man, I'm this close to going toe to toe with this whore. What would you do if she was telling you she wants. He said, what would you do if she tells you that she wants a divorce, that she's having another baby in a month? Yo, you know what's crazy, bro? And I'm, I'm going to be honest. I'm going to be honest. In my lifetime, I've never met a bitch that I thought was that crazy. But just hearing the stories I've heard, like some niggas have gone through no, some I've fucked up a, shit. I know a crazy ass bitch. Some niggas have gone through some shit where they really love the bitch for nine months and she, they cheat on her with their best friend and is having a baby. Like that shit, I honestly, to be honest, I don't know what I would do. I'm not going to sit here and act all holier than that. Like, I know what I would do if the bitch I loved had told me that she was fucking you. Nah, nah, listen, I, nah, I, I, no, I'm not going to like, say Like, imagine that. being me and your badass bitch. What are you even, what are you even talking about? It's saying bro? she's fucking a nigga like this. What are, you talking, what are you even talking about, bro? Like, look at what this nigga wears. Nigga, I'm wearing literally way more than you. What quantity. are those gibbets? Price or quantity. Like, could you imagine that? Yo, I, you're not in a, a good standpoint to say anything. Oh, you even have socks on. Guys, guys. This man won't put on socks for the vids. Fuck a shirt. Socks. We can't get socks. We, can, we can't get socks. If you think any of that's making the video, buddy. You're we can't get socks. If you think any of that's making the video, buddy, you're fucking mistaken. Like you've been sticking your fucking dick in her. I'm sorry, this song is effectively about STDs, so it's not getting a point. I'm sorry. I'm not gonna lie. I don't fuck with the message. And my thing is I would tell y'all to suck my dick if you disagree, but if you did, then that's my thing I'd with be dripping. <laughs> that's my thing. I feel like a lot of rappers don't do it too much is because when the message is ass, it the song is ass. It doesn't hit. It's just like the bars. If the bar if the bars, the beat, and the message, all three combined to be yo, if one of them joints are ass. You can't listen to the whole song. Alright, next song. You're gonna have to check out the video to see what we think about without me. Oh, Alright, right, we wanna take this time to thank our sponsors for today's video. First off, Fireball Cinemon. This is a exquisite dish, and YouTube, don't demonetize this. This is not an alcoholic beverage. This is actually my medicine. And we take this to help uh, dicks grow. It helps you last longer in the bed. And then second, we have the illustrious Sprite water bottle bong filled with herbs. Yes. This is herbs. This herbs. is not any other substance. This helps natural, trees grow. Natural. Um, um, healing, healing, um, um, calming, calming, um, consensualizing herbs. Consensual. Paul, listen, Joel just called me and he told me you're in the fucking back behind the studio. I told you not to fucking bring your gun around like an idiot. Next song, sing for the moment. Something's not right about that goddamn cinnamon, bro. It's like, right? It's like, makes it spicy. Yeah, for at lunchtime. Basically in the squirt, squirt, squirt. For a goddamn Adam Hicks vid, just pop. Pause. Casual. Pause. Ah, that's a squirt. Kiss me. Get my creatine, that nigga. Fuck is my creatine. Oh, I need that too. My creatine. I know it would have been better for the clip for me to keep a straight. Joel, 
Space Patrol, Space Patrol, Space Patrol, Delta. Da, 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 da. I know it would have been better for the clip for me to keep a straight face, but I just could not see you do that. Goddamn. Who has danced to that alarm and just keep a straight face, bro? That was the gayest shit you've ever done. You should not be able to get that much noise out. <laughs> you should not be able to get that much noise out. Look, we listened to his first and second. This is his third album. I'm like, this is this not the first album he's talked about? His dad? dad? Yeah, out. you never heard anything about him and his dad. I dare y'all niggas to say him. I dare y'all niggas to say him. Okay. Maybe you never hear him say nah. anything about his dad. And now he's talking about it a lot. I feel like this, again, this was the album where he really mastered his craft. Or maybe his dad tried to come back into life or some shit. I think yeah. At this point. That's the second album. It was, he, he really started to get some money on some fame. Like, yo, yeah, my dad was always cool. in my life, so I can't relate. But that it has to be the worst feeling. Like, your dad trying to come back into your life. That, that's some scumbag yeah. shit. As a dad, mm. honestly, if I abandoned my kid and he was like... Rich and famous, like at twenty five. I would never I would take try. The L. I yeah, would I take, take the L. L. I would never try. Yo, like on oh God, where do you even get off? Like, I'll, and yo, if I was, if it was all the way around, my dad living on some scam, on some, on some, on some like scumbag shit. Nigga, fuck you. You're not getting shit. <laughs> White America. White America. It's on that kind of slow rap, kind of like R&B rock type shit. But this one has a lot better flow and a yeah. lot better message and bars, in my opinion. Kids too hear about us talking pistols. They want to get one because they think the shit's cool. Not All they kids do is hear about us talking pistols and they want to get one because they think the shit's cool. Another thing I had to commend Eminem on is you rarely ever hear him talking about street shit. Rarely? Yeah, what do you ever hear Eminem talk about? I'm gonna fuck niggas up, I'm gonna slide on niggas. Yeah. That nigga don't talk no street shit. That nigga really talk about experiences personal to him. Maybe he just didn't have no ops. In the comment section, let us know, is our video gonna get demonetized if we smoke on camera? Because I need this money. This gas don't pay for itself. That's why we seize the moment, try to squeeze it and own it. Did this nigga just leave mid bar? Can y'all see the tears? Jesus fuck, dude. I'm crying. Okay, I'll see. Alright. Uh. Alright, bro, what'd you think of that? That's the sing for it for for the moment. I like the sample. And I like the verses, and I thought that that sample is a, is a legendary as a white classic. Na, 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 na. As I said earlier, was that even though it was slow, I feel like I feel like just the the sample made the the vibe of the song over it's more comfortable to listen to, more more digestible to listen to with that with that sample in the background because you're going off that sample, really not. Not, not Eminem. Like Eminem's going off that sample. But the flow him. was different. It was, but they were both slow. But this was different. But I put, I'm not gonna lie. The flow, I feel like, was very similar to the first song, Great American, wasn't, White American. It wasn't. Next song, Superman. Now I feel like I've heard Superman, <laughs> like the name, but I've never heard this song. So let's see. Eminem, yes, yes, yes. Oh, wait. Don't have no bitch more than your track, especially when I'm fucked up. Cause I'm like, I'm on that shit. What? 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 I know you want me, baby. I think I want you too. I think I love you, baby. I think I love you too. No, you want me, baby. You know I want you too. They call me Superman. I'm here to rescue you. Single now, got no ring on his finger now. 
I never let another chick bring me down in a relationship. Shit, girl, you can jump on Shady's dick. Straight Superman ain't saving shit, girl. girl you, you can, can jump, jump on Shady's, Shady's dick. dick. Yo, yeah, come okay. on. Nah, this nigga, I'm looking this. And peep, peep, there's an instrumental in the background. I don't know what it oh, is. Oh, we got a feature on here, Dina Ray. I don't know who the fuck that is, but maybe she's she probably the bitch moaning. But listen, listen, listen. Play no games, no games. Ever since I broke up a what's the face, I'm about to have you pick my ass. Wait. Said I'd rather have you lick, lick my. That's what he said. Trying to be my new wife, but you Mariah fly through twice. But I do know one thing though. They go, they come, they go. Wow. I've heard that part. I've heard that in a solo Minotti song. Isn't that crazy? I do know one thing though. These just they come, they go. Solo Minotti has songs. Yeah, Trust Solo Minotti dropped an album, and I'm not gonna lie. An album? It was in 2022, and it was one of the best albums of that year. You never right. heard the song, I'm Not Supposed to Be Here. That's him? Are we living in a dream? That's him? Yes. Solo Minotti. Yo, if y'all would have read the Solo Minotti album, all my life. Like, fuck no. All no. my life. I ain't living in a dream. Yes, nigga. Low key. Are we living in a dream? Fuck this ever Fuck this ever I'm trying to turn off the solo one night. Are we living in the dream? My fault. Woo the Give me wrong. It's no secret. Everybody knows. Yeah, we fuck. It's so what? That's about as far as your money goes. Exactly. Bitch, we fuck. Yeah, so what? Let me tell y'all something. I would never cheat. But in a in a hypothetical sense, in a world where let's say I had a girlfriend since October. And I go back home to Philadelphia, and I fuck a bitch because I've been there for a man long. And also, I, you know, I'm like with her, but I'm not really with her. You know what I mean? Like, hypothetically, as a bitch, why would you go out your way to find my girl's Instagram when I have never posted her a day in my life? DM her from a fake account, and then pretend to be me. Bro, because bro, I bro, already... bro, bro, bro. I think you're getting a little personal with the people. No, I'm not getting personal. I bro. think you're getting a little personal. No, I'm not. Right I've never done it. I hike you don't even remember where you started. Sit your drunk ass on that fucking runway, ho. You want what you can't have. Who girl has food and bad. Don't touch what you can't grab. End up with two back hands. Don't touch what you can't grab, ends up with two back mm. hands. Mm. What do you mean by that? What does he mean by that? He don't... means if you touch what you're not supposed to grab of mine stuff, you want what you can't have. Don't touch what you can't grab, or you'll mm. end up with two back hands. One for me, and then one for my bitch. Because you can't grab me. And yo, he's like, what, you got like four or five like inches on you? Like... What, you got like four or five? What'd you say? Four or five said, inches. You said I got what on you? Like four or five inches. I got I got four or five inches on you. Yeah, you're not over six two. You're you what are you six one at most? Six two. You're not six two. Where my wallet? It's right there. I've been telling this nigga get wallet for like two oh, years. See, now, he was oh, a twenty oh, okay, year old man so to, without a wallet. Okay, Dead so ass. you're trying to twenty so year old man. To, so you're trying to be without funny. a wallet. He had he would he would grab his he would grab his money. No, he didn't have he didn't have cash. He only does bank. So I'll give him that. But he would grab his ID. His his bank card, everything separately would be separate cards. It's just chilling in his pocket for so, twenty long years. So let me tell you what's happening of life. Let me tell you what's happening as I, a man. I've been in America. He I'm been done. he been knew that I had a wallet, but he's faking for the video. No, I like yeah, he I didn't no, know. No, I and did I didn't not understand know. that. When did you, you, you tell me? When did you tell me? When did you tell me? I've been told. When did you tell me? When did you tell me? When did you tell me? She got me this for Valentine's Day, so I told you Valentine's Day, and you had the uh, same reaction. I'm not gonna lie. If you tell me anything about Valentine's Day with your bitch, guys, I didn't have a bitch on Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day is not a holiday. Surprising, Val right? Valentine's Day. Very surprising, sorry, guys, right? But Val I'm going to be honest with y'all. To me, Valentine's Day is February 14th. I see no special specials in the day. So this nigga calls me up on some Valentine's Day shit. I'm immediately ignoring anything he's talking about. Does my ID say I'm 6'2", yes or no? Suck my I don't got mine on me, so Suck I can't. I can't. Day. I can't pull. I Suck can't pull my. my I'm over five. Stand five. I'm over five. Stand up right. Stay with me. You're six two. So let's 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 try side. Let's let's try the side. Actually, stand up back here. Right. Chat. Y'all tell me what height I am to y'all. Am I over five five? This man is six two, so five inches. Guys, head is at his is at his top lip. My top head is at his top lip. 
My top haze my the top of my haze is top lip. I have braids. This is this is the this is the lowest my head can go. I'm at his top lip. <coughs> Spam Mordecai Rigby in the comments. Three inches for forehead, an inch for eyes, an inch for nose. That's five inches. Cause his forehead's big as shit. Yeah. They got that calm dome. Yeah. Anyways. <laughs> <laughs> What do you hey think guys, of Superman? Honestly, so you can you can tell we're done reacting to Eminem. Uh, <laughs> it's been too long. But God damn it, y'all! It's two a.m. in this bitch. I'm making two cents per video. If you could just <laughs> hit me with a like, maybe a comment, subscribe, share to your friends, your mom, your aunt, it would be very. So, yo, guys, it would be so appreciated. Guys, this is my last bowl. This is my last vape. I am poor. Hit that like, hit that comment, and god damn it, if you're gonna hit that subscribe button, Nigga, you can't. hit that post notification, I swear to god, is more important. Because I need you seeing everything I drop. Bro, are you out here begging for followers? Yes! Please! Guys, Low has a very serious condition where he is mentally slow. And what happened is, I met his mom very many years ago, and she paid me very serious amounts of money to be friends with this nigga and to pretend to like this nigga. So I never got the chance to really communicate this to y'all. I do not fuck with this nigga, bro. I'm using this nigga for everything he's got, all his money, all his resources. And I'm befriending this nigga because... His mom asked me to do so, and she pays me very handsomely. Anyways, so next song. What, what, what do we have next? What, what, what bullshit are you spinning to the viewers? What are you talking about? What bullshit are you spinning to the viewers? Huh? Um, what do you think of Superman? I'll give it a point. Because of the message to the bitch. You know what I mean? Um, I feel like he kind of personified the broke nigga. The broke nigga reality when it comes to bitches. Which is? That they want Superman. And and there's two types of niggas in this world. There's two types of Supermans. No, because no one's Superman. Well, cool, unless you are. Well, if not, not in a literal sense, but in a symbolic sense. In the, there's the Superman that's like... Oh, I'm going to be this bitch's Superman. Like I'm gonna come save her. I'm gonna buy her shit. Yeah, my I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be the best boyfriend ever. I'm gonna eat her pussy. I'm not gonna ask her any questions. And then there's the other type of Superman that's like, yeah, I save shit. Like I'm important. I'm a big nigga, but I'm not gonna be your bitch. Hmm. I hear you when you. I hear. I hear when I. Well, I, hear, I hear you. I hear your analogy. But what, what I'm most talking about is the reality when it comes to money and niggas, right? Because when you're a nigga under that pop, you want. Trying to get pussy. It's a whole different world. For a nigga, Uber ads, money, money, ready to drop on bitches, bitches, Ubers, bitches, uh, gas to take bitches places, uh, on, on bitches, um, meals at expensive restaurants, all that shit, right? It's a different world for the niggas who don't have that. I love it, right? And them niggas, they're, they're, they're looking around. Because at the end of the day, they're like Batman. First, that's the best thing. When you're a nigga like that, you know how to be Batman, or you can be a joker. Because you're not Superman. You don't have, you can't fly, you don't have super strength, you haven't born, you don't have to lose your eyes. All you got is you yourself, and how your intuition, yeah, you're too low. You know what I mean? Like, what you bring to the table? Your intuition, 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 so are you giving it a point like I'm just, like how do you yap so much are you giving it a point yes or no that's all I asked and then you gave me that before I decide to give this point I'm going to oh, I'm going to no, explain I'm going no. to explain my point where I, okay. and I'll give Superman a point Haley's song hey listen okay. So it's five minutes. Oh my god. The bid started with Solomonati. That's when it started. I'm leaving all that shit in. I think Eminem loves you, but I don't like this hook. I'm liking the 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 on the raw honesty he's bringing to the vocals. It's there's no the the notes are off key. I'm not gonna lie, so. it's it's pure motion and it's not off key. much talent. Oh! 
Nah, come on, cause we go. You can tell he was singing. You got caught. He was singing. This is probably a great song if you actually have a daughter. Um, for my for my females, martial arts, I love you. We love y'all. I just want to say this for the for the homies out there, for the niggas. Every nigga can act not like almost in like a past tense sort of way can relate to the song. Not even if they don't have a daughter, but they can listen to the song and imagine if they had a daughter. Just the pain, the struggles. And the hardships. Like once again, ladies, I'm no slander, no, no diss, no nothing, no, 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 you know, you know, ill intentions when I say this. But really, men, I'm sure y'all can, I'm sure y'all can, you can truly agree. You could just sit and envision yourself with a daughter, and hear yourself going through the pain that Eminem is going through right now. So this is the first time he's really been like, listen, I know that I come off as this braggadocious dickhead who just does drugs. And shits hits, on his mom. Yeah, and hits hits girls and shit like but to be honest, I'm a real person and there's a lot of shit that fucks me up. It's and entertainment. I'm, and he said there's a lot of shit I'm insecure about. I mean, this entertainment. This and is I'm not even I... trying to be that nigga, but like to say this in 2002, that was some big. No niggas was saying it was insecure, mm -hmm. uh, especially on the rap game. And you're already white, so. or just period. That was like at the time. I'm sure. I mean, yeah, because niggas was obviously you know um, unconsciousable at that time. But you know, it just thinking about. The time period. Way to the world, and I think my neck is breaking. Should I just give up or try to live up? I love, I love my daughter more than life in itself. But I got a wife that's determined to make my life live in hell. But I handle. He went to jail for this woman. Damn. I did not know the story. Somebody has to break down the story of Haley in the comments yeah. right now. And what she did, or maybe how how early she had Haley to make to to trap Eminem so thoroughly with such. A shit physique and face. Does she have the, that wop? Am I, am I missing something? Am I confused? Is she a pro? The only lady I adore, Ellie. What'd you think of that song? Like I said, bro, that's a song that every nigga at, at their core can at least envision themselves for Let's with. be honest. At the end they can at least they can at least see themselves understanding in the in a, in a certain point in their lives. So I'm just gonna give him a point for the for the um amount he dropped his walls and his barriers. Pause. Come on, bro. Right, bro. No, nah, I'm just saying he got real. He got Why real. Why are you talking about niggas dropping their walls, bro? Dre, I'll call you back. What now? I don't even know where to start. And what do I hear? Is this the next song coming up? It's by back? far. Music. Damn. Did he merch D? Reality. Sometimes it's <laughs> hard to tell the difference. <laughs> but we as entertainers. You know what I mean? No, I've had everything. Shit for me to feed off. I'm seesaw battling. But there's way too much at stake. for me be for a joke. You smoking crack. For I do that. I'll take Mariah to take me back. Wow. You know. You know he was piping out Mariah Carey, and that's why him and Nick Cannon have beef? Wait, wait, wait. He used to date Mariah Carey, and Nick Cannon and Mariah Carey were married. So that's why Nick Cannon the fuck with Yeah. Somebody in the comments, shout out the comment section, we do read y'all, said that, said that um, D12 is like Eminem's rap group. So.
So this is a bunch of niggas. Mm, I'm about to say, because yeah, it only said one nigga. I guess Detroit 12, maybe. Alright, what'd you think? Be honest. I thought that shit was gas. I, I fucked with the start, but the features was kind of killing it. They, I'm like, they were, were kind of killing it for me. Nah, they weren't. Eminem saved it. Alive. I'm not gonna lie. He came back. He saved it. Ah, uh, he saved it. He saved it. Yeah, he he saved ju it. just barely. Just barely. But he saved it, man. man. Say what you say, featuring Dr. Dre. So I'm off the game, huh? I was born with a broom up stones, stir up shit, kick up dust, cost a lot, slur up speed, grew up. Oh, this guy, this guy can drag. I mean, does anything have to be said about this? And I'm, were you fuck with it? Of course. I, I, I don't know, bro. Jay was kind of... I was kind of selling in my opinion. What? I don't Hell know. No. I, don't, I don't know. Hell I'm no. not going to say his, his bars were ass, but the, 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 the flow, the cadence was just, it was hard to, it was, it was, it was hard to digest, bro. It was, it was, it was I don't want to say unlistenable, but it was literally, it was hard to listen to. I'm over here like. Bro, what are you talking about, nigga? I'm over here like. Beat that. Don't. Don't. I'm like. Don't. Okay. He, Nigga, he's yeah. rapping, nigga. At that point, word. of course. I want to give Emma a point, but I don't want to give Dre a point. Nigga, what? They were going back and, and Dre forth. And Dre seemed like he was more than half that song. They were going back and forth, nigga. That's why I don't want to give a point. All right, next song. So, Till I Collapse. Sorry. Wait a minute. I know this song. Nate Dog. This Nate. song right here. Wait, is this the one? Knees, weak, arms, is heavy? No, no. Oh, no. <sighs> Knees weak, got with, knees weak, no, with but this shit right here. Knees, knees weak, oh. What is it? Knees weak, all spaghetti. Listen, listen. For shizzle my nizzle? No, he said for shizzle my whizzle. Mm -hmm. I'ma have, I'm have to, I'ma have to. Yes, for shizzle my whizzle. I told you. This man, is man. the what the fuck is a whizzle? Y'all let us know in the comments. Cause he's white. For so shizzle my whizzle. Instead of nizzle, it's whizzle. I will lie. I I have heard this shit. This that that. Till the roof come off, till the lights go, go out, till my leg give out. Yeah, I've heard that. I've heard Whoa. that. Shit. I don't know where I've heard that shit before. Cause this shit is that gas. Comes off, till the lights go out, till my leg give out. Nigga, shoot this shit. My mouth, till the smoke clears out. Got my stop. What type of <laughs> what type of shots are you making with that form, nigga? Hell no, nah, bring your ass back here, nigga. Do that again. What was that? Ah! Nigga, that zesty ass spin move. Ugh. Hell no. Oh, nigga, did you trip over your own your own dribble? No, you you fucking you tripped over you the imaginary ball. Hell no. Four. <laughs> Yeah, nigga, he put himself like eighth place. That nigga, don't give a fuck. Even when niggas put him number one, he put. I mean, those niggas you growing up listening to, or not even growing up, dude, just like. Nah, a lot of them niggas was in the game same time. Yeah, I'm saying, but like, but 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 still, like, maybe he not he wasn't growing up, but he was out of the game listening to them niggas. Oh, while they were in the game. Yeah. I'm gonna rip this shit till my bones collapse. I rap like yo. I'm a, no, I rap like I'm addicted to smack like I'm Kim. Actually, Madden. tell us though, yo. Did no, listen. 
I rap like I'm addicted to crack, like I'm Kim Mathers. I hear, I heard, I heard, Nigga, he, he I heard he dissing on his wife. Bitch. I heard he's consistently. He he does that in a lot of songs. Well, like I said, guys, we can't be Kim in at every single bar. But guess what? We've heard a lot of Kim disses, bro. Guess what? He has a fuck with Kim. If y'all new to it, we're not. What I was gonna ask was, yo, y'all let us know. Does he really? Has he really done? Has he done crack? Do y'all? Is that like a confirmed thing? Does he do crack? Has he done crack? I don't know. I think he said that a lot and like on some joking shit, but maybe he's done that shit for real. I mean, goes without being said. Yeah, man. Some songs on this channel transcend a point, transcend us rating them. They just go without being said. They, if you don't know what we give this, then buddy, you don't deserve to be on the channel. Now y'all know, man. We listen to a lot of old music. Mm-hmm. Not even like say old, just music that's been out mm -hmm. and we're young niggas man so a lot of times we come across something that maybe we see the title and we don't initially quite uh, realize yeah or grasp the greatness of but we hear the song and we just know oh it's already been inducted to the hall of fame next song we'll get to is my dad's gone crazy featuring you'll never guess who dr dre Haley. Haley mathers Damn, so Paul's the yeah. first to do it. He was the this first to do it. Drake with Adonis, uh, uh, Kanye with North. Well, we don't uh, know. Uh, 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 Blue, uh, Beyonce and Jay Z with Blue Ivy. Eminem was the first to do it. Well, we don't know if she's going to be on it yet. Let's listen. Okay. <laughs> See, that doesn't count. That was hard, though. Wait, what? All this time, me and Dre been fucking with hats off. Whoa, whoa, wait, whoa, wait, whoa, whoa, wait, whoa, wait. No, I'm gonna find it. We not jacking that, M. We not jacking no, that, No, I M. definitely just heard him say some crazy shit. Oh, wait, here we go. Inside of a hall with my framed autographed sunglasses with Elton John's name on my drag wall. Why the fuck you have a drag wall? I'm out the closet. Huh? I've been lying my ass off. What? All this time, me and Dre been fucking with ha- What? Out the closet, been lying my ass off, me and Dre been fucking? Hats? Oh, what? We're not even gonna acknowledge that. Okay. I'm not taking the point. I'm not giving the point. Next song. Next song. Next song. What is it? Curtains. Curtains closed. Skit. Guess who's back? Back again. This is Ken Cannon. Ken is back. Tell some men. This nigga just end up finding his <laughs> he way. He funny as shit. I can't lie. What's your thoughts on the album? Um, high key, like I said, a very comedic filled album. But I'm not gonna lie. Um, I'm gonna say another banger. As a runner up to what was the second one? The Marshall Mathers LP. That was the second one. Th that's a, that's a very good. That's a very good one to, to throw after that. The Eminem show. Um, I feel like that is all. I mean, yeah, y'all definitely told us that's definitely a classic. Um. In my opinion, classic. I want to say that the the meaning, the 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 focus he put in these songs, the way that all these songs sound good, and he has generational hits. Till I collapse might be one of my might be my favorite Eminem song, and I realized that today. Without me goes without being said. Superman cleaning out my closet. I mean, this album was full of classics. And to be honest, I spent a lot more time smiling than I did frowning. So when y'all said that this was his best album, after a good, thorough listen, I can concur. So far, you are correct. I'll agree with you on an influential standpoint. On um, the amount of messages and the amount of 
almost wisdom he tried to drop on niggas at the time with this album. But I feel like lyrically and vocally, the Eminem show was his best album. And I feel like... That's this album. I feel like... That's this album. No, not the Eminem show. Sorry. The Marshall Mathers LP, the second one, was his best album lyrically and and and, and, and fucking... Um, I guess and musically. And I, I don't even put... I, I, like this is like no this is like no jokes but like I even put the first album he ever did as the best production wise I feel like the beats and the skits on there were were just the most original and just I feel like the the, the most raw. Anyways, let us know what y'all thought. Yeah. And let us know what y'all think is the best album in the album. Let us know what album we got to get next. Make sure y'all like, share, subscribe if y'all are new. Hit that post notification bell, please, my nigga. And then we'll catch y'all in the next one. Yeah, hey, let us know what next to me. Which, which out. Nigga, I fucking out. said that, nigga. Clearly, I've been drinking too much, man. It's 307. Let's all get paid. Friday night, let's all get paid.